Salutations gamers, I'm the UGG Game, here today playing Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator again, this time with the Gamer Toasts. Yeah, I got really jealous with uh, him and Cody, so I had to do it myself. The greatest, the greatest YouTuber, and, uh, the greatest YouTuber toast with the most o overrated son of a whore, OGG game. Start game, let's see. Oh, right, we, let's clear the board, because I got all this stuff still from that. Okay, so what map do you want to do on? You want to do the flat test map? It's pretty cool. But there, there's other maps. Oh, you have to speak up a bit more than that. Try to get closer if you can. Flat test be fine. Okay, good enough. Let's see. Um, do, uh, I'll, this time, since I, I had Cody going first, this time I'm going to go first. Let me see. I like the medieval period. So let's make some hmm, heavy knights. Spearmen. All right, I'm going to make some heavy knights. Here here's here's what I'm going to do. Here's my little here's my little guys down here. Right. So we're going to have some heavy knights. Plus who else do we want? We're going to want spearmen in the front of said heavy knights as sort of the ah, Come on. This thing is kind of weird. Okay, it's like inverted the way you kind of have to do it. It's weird. Okay. And come, no, come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, they really need to fix that. They need to make an easier way to do that. All right, and then I'm going to extend these guys out a bit. No, not that. We're like maybe three. There we go. All right, so I have a line of spearmen. And, a, and behind them, a bunch of heavy knights. We're going to have fewer spearmen than heavy knights. There we go. Just like that. All right. So I have three, about 400 guys on, on the field. All right. What do you want for your, for your army to face off against my army? Well, uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm thinking just a whole bunch of archers. Just a whole bunch of archers. Just a whole bunch of archers. All right, let's see if we have... We do have archers. Medieval archers. And how far away do you want them to be about? Uh, it looks about fair. Got a long long way. You could have them travel if you really wanted. That looks fine to me. Don't want them to get too far. Take too long to get there. All right, about there -ish sounds good. How many archers do you want? That's 250 right there. Well... According to most histories and documentaries and movies, archers are, they're gay and the HP sucks, so we'll throw 500 on the board. 500 on the board. I don't think that's historically accurate what you're saying is, but uh, sure, why not? All right, let's battle. You don't want anything else? That's, that's all you want? All right. That's all I need. All you need. Let's start. Hey, Peter Pan was gay. Famously, famously gay, I, I believe, is, is the proper term. Today is mostly sunny with some sun, once again. N it never seems to change. Actually, that's because I put it to clear. Alright, so there's your archers. They got some condoms on their head, it looks like. That's Santiago. Not, I mean, that's going to protect them, I guess, a little bit, but maybe not in the way that they're hoping. I mean, this is this looks pretty pretty solid. I mean, a Pretty, pretty solid. We got 400 versus 500. There's my army there. Yeah, we got spearmen with their shields. The heavy knights are retarded and for some reason are just kind of butter knifing their swords around and holding their shields behind their back because, well, they're just not very bright. But that's fine. We'll we'll see how it goes. All right, let's do this. Everyone forward. Oh, you, oh my goodness, they broke they broke line immediately. That's not how you're supposed to do that. Man, those shields are doing nothing. By the way, look at this. Look at this. They hit the shields. They, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't accurate at all. Shields are supposed to protect you. Yeah. These, these heavy knights, for some reason, they don't, they don't even need their shields. They're like, ah, F it, I don't need shields. Holy crap, we have lost half of our army already. That's ridiculous. What kind of bows are these guys? These guys aren't even using long bows. They're using short bows. Well then. Except they got those bows from Goodwill. My. Well, it doesn't look like anyone's army is doing particularly well here. It's kind of evenly matched now that the Heavy Knights have busted their way through. They're kind of ripping, ripping, ripping them a new one. Yeah, I think you got them this time. Rip your army, maybe. 
Where rip my army. I only have 193 left. We have lost 200 now. 200 men. Oh, wait, no. You have lost 200 men. We have lost... No, we've also lost 200 men. That's that's right. There we go. Yeah. It's not good. This, I mean, no matter who wins at this point, it was... I mean, even if you survive, it was not a victory. You know, at, at this point, there's just so many, so many lives lost. Can I please cast fire arrows? I don't, I don't believe that's going to help any. Well then. Oh yeah, hold on. Let me speed this up a little bit. There we go. Get things moving along a little faster. Not moving that fast. Oh well. My goodness, we we have almost been. Oh, hey, hey, buddy, you got it. You got it. You got a guy right there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You're not retarded. You're smart. Wow. I mean, we may have gotten victory, but we did not win. That was we we lo look at how many people we lost along the way. That was harsh. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I don't know what that was. All right. Exit to the menu, right. So, um, that, that was, that was my army of spearmen who, and, uh, heavy knights, for some reason the spearmen's shields did literally nothing, so I don't, I don't know what's up with that. So, what, let's see, now I'm gonna change it up a bit. So, let's go somewhere else. Let's try, let's see, fantasy, what do we got here? We got orcs. I love orcs, orcs are cool. Um... We want the big guys in the back, so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have orcs up, uh, orcs in the back. Then we're gonna have, what are we gonna have up here? We're going to have dwarves in the front. All right, that looks pretty good. That's that's pretty good. And I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have one more. I'm gonna have a hero, and that hero is gonna be a golden knight. And go, that golden knight is gonna be back here. Leading the charge against whatever you decide to throw my way. Awesome. Okay, so now what do you want to have for your army? Yeah, let's take a gander them categories here. All right. Medieval heroes, World War II, evil, ancient Greece, fantasy, animals, festive, inanimate, or custom. And we only have one custom. I've yet to see festive. Actually. Let's take a gander at festive. Take a gander at festive. I believe there's only one in there, which is Santa Claus. Oh. Alright then. World War II. World War II. Uh, you, you can hold the mic if you want. Just get that real close. You're, you're talking real low, so... World War II. There you go. You don't have to get quite that close, but just keep it keep it close to you there. Yeah. I speak really loud. People don't know this. I reduced the audio on that microphone to about, let's see... Maybe like 20% or something like that. Like, only about 20% of my noises are actually getting into that microphone. So, uh, if, if, whenever I have, like, people over with this, it's it's just... It, 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 it's, it's weird, because I'm super loud, and then, then they tend not to be super loud like I am, because they're... Okay, so how many how many Santa Clauses did you want? Well, I, I don't really know how he's going to attack, so let's throw... Uh... Yeah, 300. 300 Santas. The army of 300. But behind him. Behind the Santas. Behind the Santas. Behind those Santas. The real cavalry. Hmm? I want 50 T-Rexes. Aww, you watched the other video. You know about these pricks. <laughs> oh no, not T-Rex. No! Not T-Rexes! Only 50. Only 50. 50 so... Oh, look at how big they are! Holy crap, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll play your game, but after this round, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you how it's done, son. Alright, 300 Santas, 50 T-Rexes. My, my army's gonna get destroyed. There's no question about it, my army is gone. Wait, did I remember to set your T-Rexes to your team? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did, but there's always that chance that I didn't, and then your T-Rexes are just going to rip apart your own army, and then that's that's going to be a, a real issue for you. Candy canes. I have never seen such a festive army in my entire life. It's, it's actually kind of hurting my eyes how bright and red they are. 
is like vibrantly red. Wow, that is piercing. I mean, we don't even need reindeers for this. Uh, 50 T Rex is all we need to get Christmas going. Santa Claus is T Rexes. You got Dasher and Prancer and Dachshund and Vic. I don't know their names. I don't know the names of the reindeer. Rudolph. Okay, we have all my little dwarves. <laughs> they're ready to go. They're raring and ready to go. Look at these guys. They're all the exact same guy, but you know that's fine. It's uh, you. You expect that. And my orcs, straight out of Lord of the Rings, with, uh, down to the freaking swords, and the one golden knight. He's ready to go. He's wearing a gold gold piece of armor that's gonna do nothing for him because gold is actually a terrible thing to wear as armor. People don't know that. Oh, gold is not good for armor. It's dense, but it sucks because it's buttery. It's super malleable. Oh my goodness. How? Ooh, the Santa Clauses are not faring very well, but the T-Rexes are the ones that I'm worried about right now. They're the ones that are gonna really, really do the da damage here. Where's my Golden Knight? Where's the Golden Knight? Where is he? Is my Golden Knight dead? Holy crap, these T-Rexes are just walking all over me right now. Where is the Golden Knight? Has the Golden Knight seriously already died? Wow. Santa's. Wow, I don't think a single T-Rex went down that whole time. I, nope. I thought 50 was a small amount. Alright, that's enough of that business. I'll show you how... Do I have to bring out the 100,000 Penguin Armada again? That's how <laughs> I beat the T-Rexes before. <laughs> Alright, no, I know how to do this. We're going to keep our army the same, but we're going to have... We're gonna have a backup. We're gonna have a backup this time. We're gonna have some backup. Who's gonna be my backup? Team number one. We're gonna have... Ooh, what are we gonna have? What are we gonna have? Uh... Not animals. Maybe ancient Greece. We're gonna have... The Spartans. And we're gonna have... I mean, I feel like you gotta go 300 Spartans, but at the same time, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out these freaking T-Rexes. One! Thousand Spartans. Now let's just hold on a minute. Now let's let's let's, let's not just. Uh... I'm gonna flank you. Here it comes. You better be ready, son. You're about to get. This is what I like to call the bait. The bait. The bait and switch. You got a bunch of dwarves in front of you. They're a tasty little nibble. But then on the side, there's a thousand Spartans ready to stab you right in your keister. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt bad. My Spartans have melded into my dwarves. <laughs> That's how serious I am. You know, for the first time, I'm I'm legitimately scared. You know, I'm. This is gonna oh oh boy, oh. but the T Rexes are crazy strong. You saw how many penguins they took out before. But I've broken up your ranks. The T Rexes have already broken up, and they are walking all over those poor poor Spartans. Holy crap! The Spartans ripped them apart. Yeah, I'm not coming back over. This is nonsense. Whoa. I mean, I mean, the, the, I feel like the point of the game is just keep going until you break your computer, basically. Just see how far you can go. I'm, I'm really surprised 100,000 didn't break your PC. I mean, if I brought the, if I brought the, uh, if I brought everything down to potato quality in the game, I could probably bring in like a million penguins or something like that and have no frames, but it would work. Let it go overnight, see who won. <laughs> overnight, see who won. Who, what, what would the hundred that what would the million penguins fight though? One Chuck Norris. No, actually we've tested this. See, the problem with the problem that is complete bullcrap with the Chuck Norris is that he when his health drops to zero, his health just immediately goes back to a, to, to maximum again. It's it's ridiculous. If I if I could recode this game, I'd mod it so that he can die, because Chuck Norris, you know, they make a lot of jokes, but seriously though, Chuck Norris is not that much of a BA, no, there are much, there are much cooler people than Chuck Norris. Look at these freaking T-Rexes, they destroyed my Spartans! Yeah. Uh, like for instance, Bruce Lee. Chuck Norris said, I would never fight Bruce Lee. You know why? Because Bruce Lee would kick his freaking rectum open. He'd he'd, he'd pull. He'd, he'd take his his he'd take his hands. He'd take his 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 his, his small little hands that Bruce Lee, and he'd just shove them right up his butt, pull his heart out through his anus, and then and then and, and, and just just rape it. He'd just rape it. That's what he would do. That's what Bruce Lee would do to Chuck Norris. 
See Problem that. is, Bruce Lee's dead now because of some kind of stupid poisoning or something like that. Nobody really knows why he's dead. See, the thing about Bruce Lee is, his kind of fighting is like real life. He knows how to fight. Chuck Norris fighting? All oh, it's Hollywood. It's all fake. Bruce Lee knows the real kung fu. He knows he knows the real deal. Chuck Norris. I'd even I'd even say Jackie Chan would probably be Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris is really not that great. All right, now. Dagnap, I can't believe my thousand Spartans did not take out those T-Rexes. What am I going to throw in now? No, you know what? We're going to have a Team 3. This isn't even my team. This is some other guy. I don't know who this is. He's going to be way off somewhere else. I don't know where he is. Oh, wait. Uh, I haven't spawned anything in yet. Okay, so what's Team 3 going to be? I don't know. Team 3 is going to come in here, and they're going to be... You know what? Everything was fine until the zombies attacked. Zombies. I tell you, man, they, they ruin everything. These are going to be runner zombies, too. They're going to run. And they're going to be, like, down... I don't know, down right, like, right here. Maybe not that far. They're going to be about... Uh, right about there. Complete... Come, come in and flank us. Flank us. They're going to be, like, right here. There we go. Okay, and how many zombies we're going to have? I don't know. Let's... Let's just wipe out both our armies at one go. We're going to have ten... Thousand zombies. That'll 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 take care of us. That'll destroy our anuses. Let's do it. I I'm I'm confident that we'll all die. That's not even my team. That's some other team I put down. Oh. So we're gonna be in the middle of fighting, and then these zombies are just gonna come in, and we're just gonna get destroyed. Hopefully, with 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 with, with any with any with any hope. By the way, before I did that hundred thousand penguin armada, I actually did a ten thousand penguin armada. I still had like a good 60 frames, I think, when I did that. This one, I'm not getting quite that. I'm getting about 20 to 30 or so. We're not bad, not bad. Look at this. See these? You ready? You gotta appreciate oh, some it. Some of them got blue shirts, some of them got brown shirts. They're really well dressed. I mean, even though you're dead and you're losing a lot of flesh, you gotta keep the style. I mean, yeah, you know, you, you, gotta, you gotta keep up appearances. I mean, you're, you may be ugly, you may be ugly AF. But you know you got you gotta you gotta put in that effort. So you know we got our pathetic little armies over here having a squabble. These T Rexes, you know, are gonna come in, gonna try to fight. Santa's gonna come in, try to fight, and then then, then zombies. That's just how that's how like every fantasy situation sort of ends, doesn't it? You know, everyone's fighting each other, and then zombies, and then everything is changed. E everything zombies change everything. This whole situation here kind of reminds me of uh, World War Two. Germany, rest of the world, U.S. comes in, screws everything up, fixes the problem. <laughs> oh, it was a mixture of Germany with the Soviets. Although, I suppose the zombies more accurately represent the Soviets because they lost like 22 million or something, most of which were civilians that, that um, Joseph Stalin decided, you know what? Let's just throw bodies at this until it goes away. They killed, like, 13 million civilians that weren't even, like, they, they weren't soldiers. They just didn't, they ran, they killed another, like, 10 million soldiers. They killed, like, 10 million soldiers and, like, 13 million civilians. Because they, they didn't even have guns, a lot of them. They just, like, threw barehanded people at the Nazis. But anyway, this is, this is not good. Look at this. Look at, look at this. Can the T-Rexes do it? I don't really feel like they can. Um, I mean, you know, when zombies come, there's just nothing you can really do. You know, it's just how, just how it happens. A scratch, a bite, a little bit of blood in your eye, you mean you're gone, you know? Man. You know, even if these T-Rexes, you know, beat them, I don't feel like they're gonna win. They're all gonna be zombies one day. Holy crap, look at this. Do the runner zombies turn other people into zombies like the regular zombies do, is my question. Because regular zombies turn you into zombies, but I don't know if the runner zombies do in this. They might. The Spartans are doing pretty good against the zombies, to be fair. Well, oh, T-Rexes are down. The Spartans are the ones that are, that, that are left. There's like, I don't know, like, uh, there's a hundred or so Spartans, it seems, left. The hundred and fifty Spartans versus... Freaking 10,000! There, there are 9,000 right now. 9,000 armada of zombies. Man, these Spartans though—they they know how to keep a—they know how to keep a freaking rank. They—they they are—they are sticking to their phalanx. 
like a boss. I'm glad that look, they got like a, they do seriously have like a phalanx going on kind of right now. Not like a you know a good one, but they do. It's not a, a Spartan phalanx, but at least they're keeping rank. Yeah, doing pretty fair. I mean, T Rexes, you know, they just couldn't keep up with. The... Uh oh, the zombies are coming around the sides now, coming in through the. They're gonna they're gonna split them right right down the center. I'm surprised that the Spartans are... Well, not really, I guess. I mean, it's just zombies, but at the same time, I'm surprised the Spartans are the ones that have held out so freaking long against all these zombies. Look at how far back they go. You know what? I'll make you a deal. If, if the Spartans win, I'll give you a shout-out on my GoFundMe. <laughs> you don't have a GoFundMe. <laughs> what, are, what are you GoFunding over there? Well, I need a... I could use a Dodge Challenger. Oh, I thought you were. Um, I thought you were doing a GoFundMe for the uh, for uh, the, the the Gamer Toasts brand of Dragon Dildo or something like that. You know. Have you ever wanted a toaster model Dragon Dildo? You know, you're just like you know. I like these things, but they're just not hot enough. I I just want my insides to be roasted and toasted, like I've been put inside of an oven, but inside my body. The Gamer Toasts brand Dragon Dildo. When you need when you need it big, you need it hot, and you need it now. That's your that's the slogan, right? That's 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 your GoFundMe. The zombies have murdered everyone. There are the, holy crap. Well, time to clear the board because when zombies come in, that's just that's just life, you know. Zombies. That's all there is to it. That's that's it, you know. That's that's how we're all gonna die. We're all going to be sitting here squabbling over the next politician, and then zombies. And then everyone dies. I believe it, too. I'm a strong believer in that theory. That everyone is just going to die to zombies. That's how life is going to end. Alright, so let's do this again. This time... Hmm, this time we're going to have you go first. You're going to be Team 1. So what do you want? Well, there's only one thing that I've been taught in school, historically accurately, and that's... The, the zombies never actually lost. I mean, the the, 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 the the Nazis never actually lost. So you know what I want? I want a line, a very thin line. Very thin line. Of 1,000 Nazis. All right, and we're going to have a thin line, 0.25. Oh, God, yes. That is the thinnest I can get them to. Maybe that's a little too thin. Uh... Maybe we should extend this. Maybe we should, I don't know, point, point 0.5. No, wait, no, that's... Hold on, uh, 15. Maybe uh, 10, 10. There we go. There, there we go. go. Nice. Yeah, dude. It's a pretty good line of Nazis. Right. Well, there's only one thing that can beat the Nazis, as we have learned. That's my friend, Booger. Although, I, I, think, I, I, think, we need to, I think we need to upgrade Booger a little bit. No, wait, no. No, not Booger. No, that's right. Booger died. Booger died fighting the Nazis. But you know who isn't dead? His brother. Oh. His brother's not dead. Uh... What ammo is that? Oh. <laughs> Rip Ethan. Uh, let's, let's give him his move speed of, like, times ten. Well? Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, <laughs> no, oh, it only goes up to 10, okay. Uh, we'll give that one a 10, to 1, and, uh, we're gonna see. Okay, so, uh, his, oh, and we're gonna give him a 75% melee block damage, alright. Uh, well, I take that out. what's this one's name? Booger? Uh, I gotta keep in the same sort of rich snot. There we go. <laughs> so. As we all know, the great booger, greatest Nazi killer that ever lived, he died to the Nazis, but his brother didn't. No. His brother snot. His brother snot. Snot did not die. Snot was... Some say... Even a better Nazi killer than the Great Booger. You sure about? But that? only time will tell. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess with you here. I'm gonna put Snot right at the end of your line. Oh. He's gonna cut. 
right through that shaft. You think we're just going to all shoot each other, just since he's at the end of it? No, that's that they don't shoot each other, which kind of sucks, but <laughs> that's fine. The Great Snot will take on the Thousand Nazi Armada. I don't... This isn't going to go great. I want to kind of make a battle like they got there, where there's all these Greek dudes fighting a bunch of zombies. The zombies would win. I, the, you, you can't beat zombies. That's how the Roman Empire fell, if you didn't know. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a nice shin fact for you. Uh, the, um, the, Roman, the, the Romans, they... They were having a good time. Yeah. Brothels. Bathing in the sun with They're the rocks and. Big old brothels. Yeah. The Colosseums and stuff. And then Nazis. Actually, wait, sorry. Not Nazis. Zombies. 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 Get those mixed that's up. How the, that's, how the, that's how the Nazis lost, though. It was zombies. It wasn't the Russians. It wasn't the Americans. It wasn't anybody. It was zombies. That's how they fell. If it wasn't for zombies, you know, we never would have won. How come there's a thousand and one? Oh crap! That's because you're. That's because I forgot to switch the team. My bad. Team two. There we go. Start battle. Now the rape will happen. Now the yes, that that thing that that will happen, uh, particularly to your butt. Am I recording rape is audio? Rape. I am good. I thought I wasn't for a second, but I am okay. We're. I'm not retarded. Good. Well, actually, I think you are. Well, you know what. Son, I didn't ask for your sass. All right, let's. The great snot, go! Holy! Cr oh my goodness! All right. Jeez! It's like a chainsaw. <laughs> Holy crap! Whoa! I'm impressed. How do how do we stop this? I don't think we can. Is this how the world ends? Is this how seven billion people fall? <laughs> To one chicken. One chicken to rule them all. Oh my goodness. John confirmed hacker. Look at the big old penis back there. Oh yeah, the, the Nazis have formed um, a very tactical maneuver, <laughs> if I do say so myself. It is called the Nazi penis. Even greater than the Nazi circle jerk is the Nazi penis. Um, it, it, um, it, it just provides a lot of tactical advantage. You know, you have... The shaft of the Nazis, obviously providing the uh, the the forward the forward thrust of of the army, and then you have this this backlog that will just provide uh, provide just a lot of extra oomph to, to the to the rest. You know, uh, the power of, of 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 the Nazi penis, if you ask me, honestly. Now they are using AR-15s, correct? Uh, they are using rifles. I forget the name of that rifle. That is the, the stand. That is the classic. Wait, why are they using that rifle? I thought that was. I'm pretty sure that was an American model rifle. What? Up, what? Up, whatever. Holy crap! There are still a lot of Nazis left. You know, I'm not frank. afraid. I'm not afraid one bit. Despite his absolutely unreal amount of HP, I'm just not. I'm not afraid. You know, Nazis pull through all the time. Holy crap! Let's let's speed this up a bit. Let's see how ridiculous it gets then. Pretty much the exact same ridiculous levels. The great snot. He he came in for vengeance for his brother Booker. Vengeance. And my goodness, has he has he earned it? Uh, has he achieved said vengeance? I mean, vengeance will drive a man to do terrible things. Some might say amazing things. Myself, I mean, if that, uh, uh, almost 800 dead people. I don't care what side you're on, that's just awesome. Alright. When your brother talks about shooting up the school, but you're homeschooled. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, do the Nazis even wear that kind of uniform? I mean, I mean their uniform look pretty dapper. That, you know, that, that looks pretty, pretty bad, to be honest. I'm noticing they're not wearing the red band on their arm, which is, you know, the Nazi thing to do, but they're not doing it. I don't know why. I feel as though these are just U.S. soldiers that they decided to call Nazis. They're not really. I mean, one single bock, and they just fall. It's like, bock, and they're dead. He just pecks them. Just give them a good little peck. Feels, I feel like he's getting a little confused as the oh, <laughs> there he goes. He's going into the shaft again. 
going forward all the way. Oh, jeez! Dominated! He's coming back. Oh, here he goes. Oh, my goodness, he's so fast! Fastest chicken that ever did live. Here he goes, shit like this. Oh, 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 where's he going now? Oh, he's going back. He, he, he did a wrap, he did a wrap around. The, f the famous, the famous snot wrap around. Wait for it. I mean, I, you know, I think I have an idea to take down this, this menace to society. You think you do? I think I have an idea, and, uh, you know, if it doesn't work, then I guess, uh, yeah, I guess there's this... I mean, what did the Nazis ever do to him, am I right, you know? Yeah, I mean, this is completely unfair, I mean, this... Completely unjustified killing. I'm gonna contact the developer of the game and tell him to burn in hell for this. <laughs> All right, I, yeah. I think I think he's obviously a racist, sexist, xenophobic, uh, tra transphobic, uh, homophobic. Uh, how many other phobics can we throw in there? <laughs> I don't. I don't even know. All right. So, what what is your plan to take down? Well, the great snot. Well, let's uh, let's get rid of those Nazis on there. Got it. No more Nazis. And, uh, let's go to, uh, let's go to Inanimate. Alright. Inanimate. Now what? I figured there'd be more. Nope, there are dressers and tables. Alright. So be it. Uh, let's go back to the categories, because, you know, I want to take a good gander at this. Get good gander. Good gander. Good gander. Not the bad one. Not a bad gander. A good one. Try evil. Evil. That's where the zombies are. Also skeleton warriors, but nobody cares about them. They never collapsed an empire. No siree. They're only good for, uh, golden bits. So, uh, I've watched a lot of mo I I've watched a lot of movies. And, uh, you ever seen Titanic? The Great Titanic? Uh, I, I have. Uh, uh, best horror movie I ever watched. Before the, uh, before the ship hit the iceberg in the water? And killed all those poor men. There is a rogue zombie aboard the ship. And oh, of course. That's, that's why it went under. Because zombies. Yeah. Every tragedy can be, uh, linked back to zombies, you know? 9-11? Like 9-11, obviously. It was all zombies. That's what They ate all the, they ate the steel beams. <laughs> Everyone knows jet fuel can't burn hot enough to burn steel beams. The zombies ate those beams, because we know the iron strength of a zombie's teeth. Of course. Remember, uh, Anne Frank? It, the zombies are the ones that found them, and then <laughs> ate them. She never went to any camps. She, she was eaten by zombies. Everyone knows that. Yeah, I mean... Common, common mistake. Common mistake. The Nazis had nothing to do with it. They were busy fighting zombies up in the north. Zombie death camps, not Nazi zombie, not Nazi death camps. All right, so uh, let's. Uh, I mean, you know, I, you know, you got to think about this. I mean, how how do you? I mean, one single Bach and a man falls. I mean, what can really do something like this? I mean, I mean, I'd say zombies are the best bet. They they have toppled many societies before and destroyed many many great heroes in our day. I want. I've made my mind up. I want. Five thousand. Golden Knights. Five thousand Golden Knights. Alright, Golden Knights. Five thousand. Yes. Here they are. Versus one snot. You don't be cool. What? If uh, if it, if I ever rubbed a lamp and a genie came out, mm -hmm. if I had one wish, I'd wish for everybody in the world to have severe asthma, and but oh, but not me. And then I would ask to like run a race. <laughs> of course, I win because I don't have asthma. Genius. All right, so uh, we have five thousand golden knights versus snot. I mean, when you first look at this, you think, obviously. The knights are gonna win, but if you look farther, into no, the coding, I'd say if you look at this, you'd say obviously from the first glance the chicken would win. I, I think you know. Just first, just a slight glance in the, but, but the side your head. If you tilt your head at the right way, it looks like the golden knights might have a chance. Anyway, <laughs> oh my goodness, they just launched him back. Whee! I think I got a fair. Got a fair thing going on here. These Golden Knights sure are, um... 
wow, they, they really pack a wall up these guys. Let's launch him back. What what are, what are, what are they doing that's causing that to happen? I'm gonna invent a roller. I'm gonna invent a uh, carnival ride where like 200 men just come at you with the plastic sword and just launch you across the carnival. That would be probably oh, pretty fun. Oh, did I you see a lost done? a few golden knights. I would like to point out. I wonder I, I, how that even happened. I mean, the whole time checking the sign here's been in the air. Look at him. FPS shooter. Let's break up. Let's break up. Break up the ranks. Holy crap, they do a thousand damage each each punch. Or wait, do I do a thousand damage? I can't remember. This is uh well let's speed this up a little bit here. So uh since uh can't really get close. If you ever went to war and you controlled an entire army, what would your battle cry be, Sir John, Sir Ogichi? Um, the the great battle cry, "Hey, it's your boy." No, I know what I would do. I would if if I had a battle cry for an army, I would say, "Was Pop and Jimbo twenty four thousand seven hundred and eighty one times?" That's what my uh, battle cry would be. Jesus Christ. Well, uh, I myself am a magnificent fan of uh, our boy Richard Noxon. I see. And uh, the battle cry appropriately would go along the lines of Just all kinds of men doing that. After we finish our battle cry of was Pop and Jimbo then I want my entire army to chant in unison <laughs> Hey it's your boy Skinny Penis. All of them. Our enemies will fear us they will be confused by us, but most importantly, they will laugh, and it will cause them to uh, be be off guard because they'll be laughing so hard that we'll we'll just come in through the back door of the castle, and then just be like, "This is our castle now." And then they'll be like, "Oh dang, we should we shouldn't have gotten out of the castle to meet them on the battlefield." And now they have the castle, and now and now and now they're they're screaming, "Hey, was Pop and Jimbo down from the rafters of it?" You know, it's. I think it's a valid strategy, honestly. And this isn't getting... This is gonna take forever, because they keep launching him back. We need to we need to add weight to the chicken, like, let's, let's program it to where... Let's... Hold on, let's... Maybe Golden Knights was not the greatest, considering that they launch things way back. What's something that doesn't launch? Uh, pretty much anything but the Golden Knights. How about... What, what's a soul tyrant? I've never, I've never seen a soul tyrant. I don't know what a soul tyrant is. Well, let's take a, let's take a good old look. All right, let's try five thousand soul tyrants versus the great hero Snot. He wasn't the hero that we needed, nor the one that we wanted, but he is the one that we deserve. Agreeable, very agreeable. Whoa. I have no idea what those are. Those look really scary, and they're all on fire. They should probably put that put that out. You know. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a fire hazard. If the fire marshal come and saw this, he'd shut us all down. This channel, no longer a thing. I mean, I gotta be honest, I'm, I'm a little turned on by all that fire, though, you know. There's there's a fire down there, and kind of want a piece, but... Alright, <laughs> let's, let's see if these guys launch, because if they do, it's going to be really annoying. Yep. Where'd he go? Yep. I don't... Where'd he go? Uh, oh, Dagnab, they do the exact same thing. That's really annoying. <laughs> Alright, let's try to use something that doesn't do that. Uh, what other hero charger? Uh, it was just the Elven Huntress, which probably does yeah, yeah. the same deal. Alright, let's try, uh, let's go to Ancient Greece. Ancient Greece. We have the Romans. What? Why do we have the Romans in Ancient Greece? Rome. Roman. Greece. That, does, that doesn't add up. The Zombinati. Zombinati. The Zombinati. Don't you know about the Zombinati the, with the triangles and... Well, you see, a lot of people like to think that the Illuminati control the world, but yeah. the problem is the Illuminati, all they really care about is trying to stop the Zombinati, which have been fighting with the Illuminati for so long, but they've been losing. You see, the, the Illuminati, they can't beat the Zombinati. Every time you see, like, a circle, uh -huh. or you see a man saying, what's poppin' Jimbo? He's part of the Zombinati. That's... And and it's just how that's how, just how it is. The zombies will destroy us all. 
now wait just one minute. You, you said what's popping, Jimbo. Are, are you, uh, Sir John? You, you part of this organization of crime? Um, you don't know that. I need, I need the NSA. <laughs> the NSA are part of the Zombinati. God no, we blocked everything. <sighs> okay, so what do you want? Romans, Spartans, a wild man? Just one, just, just wild man. You, you know, and Persian again. What's it? Why ancient Greece if you have Romans and Persians? Perfect. You could have the you could have the immortal army. You know what? I mean, five thousand Persians from ancient Greece. It might not add up, but it it works somehow. The Persians had the immortal army, which was like a million strong, right? Oh. Hold on. Oh no. Hold on. Let's change the quality. Oh no. Overall quality to potato. Okay? Did you potato? They have that? Oh yeah, they have potato quality. We're gonna go back. <laughs> now that everything's potato quality, we're gonna get the Persians. The myriad. Let's see, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. How big is that? That is the map. The whole map is the Persians. Hold on. Hold on. I need to. I need to adjust this a little bit. Hold on. Two. No, hold on. One. There we go. One. Million Persians! <laughs> one million. Is that actually a million? Hold on. That's. that's hold on. That's. Um, that's one, two, three. One, two. Yep, that's, that's a million. Wait, no, that looks more than a million. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, no, it's a million. Okay. Rip John's computer. Rip John's computer. Here we go. Loaded pretty fast. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, there's, a, there's a possibility here. I mean. Oh, is it? It's not responding. <laughs> please, please. I don't care if we only get like two or three frames. I want the million person <laughs> army. I just want to see it. Oh. I saw anime. Oh. Anime. Oh, it's... We're getting a weirdly high amount of frames a bit. Oh, that's not what you were supposed to see. Hentai confirmed. Press K to store... I'm not seeing the millions, though. Uh, display driver, stop responding! It is recovered! Oh, oh I hear... I hear the army! I hear them! Where are they? I don't see them, but I hear them. There's no enemies. Um, Only the audio remains. The, I, I can't do anything. Um, game? I don't think it's working. Moment of silence, please, for this awful tragedy. I'm gonna press K and see what happens. I hear a bunch of screaming. I don't know what's happening. Press potassium to start battle. I don't... I, nothing's... Nothing's... I don't... Okay, um, well guys, I have broken the game! <laughs> That's what happened today. How long have we been recording? Can I get, can I, I wanna, oh dear god, hold on. How long have we been going? We've been going, like, 40 minutes. That's long enough, right? Yeah, we can destroy the game. It's fair, it's fair. It's pretty fair. Okay, well, anyway though guys, uh, we broke the game. Um... No one will ever see the epic battle of the Immortal Army versus... What are you doing? Get that away from there. Oh, oh, oh. you dirty boy. Uh, we'll never see the great battle between the Immortal Army and Snot, but maybe one day, if I get a better computer, we will see the great battle. I don't know. Anyway, though, guys, I'm going to leave that here. So uh, if you like this episode, make sure to hit like on it. Otherwise, I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye bye Yeah. Kill yourself. Can we can we stop this? Stop this madness.